I have two answers to that. The first one is actually in the classroom. They can be using it to create a separate channel for communication. Back in the late 70s, we conducted an experiment connecting um, classroom discussion with online discussion. We actually we were using email. Um, it wasn't widely distributed, but it was at the university because of the DARPA net. And so, and we found that suddenly people who hadn't spoken in class flourished in the online discussion and vice versa. What happens is you have different channels. And the more channels, the greater likelihood you'll be able to engage people. So one of the things to do is to use these devices as a way to maintain a, a separate a ongoing conversation. And the nice thing is it can happen in parallel. That's one of the, the properties of, of asynchronous communication or digital media com communication is people can be doing it all the time. You don't have to have this turn taking so much. Um, another thing is audience response systems. The clickers that they have can now be done with mobile devices so instructors can take a poll in real time and see where the understanding is, is um, in the class, whether they need to spend more time on it or whether they can move on. And it can be anonymous so people can uh, indicate their real understanding and not pretend like they know it when they don't uh, for face sake or whatever else. Now that's, you know, in the traditional notion of in the classroom. But if we take a broader notion of for the university course, we can take it to the next level and say, we can now make the information more accessible so they can be studying it when they're on the train or in things and they don't have to carry a book or when they're, they're commuting, they can listen to podcasts. And we also have the ability to reactivate that knowledge. We know it sticks better if it's a little bit every day instead of you know every other day. We can be streaming out more examples, some practice, some quizzes, some self-assessment, some extra concept, ways to think about the concept. So we're reactivating it over time and make the learning more effective. And that's just a couple of the ways in which we can augment the classroom with mobile devices to make it more effective for learning, which really should be our goal.